So once that process is finished and it's extracted the RPG file descriptions from the applications, what we need to do is actually use those descriptions uh, to generate the DDS. So the method I prefer for doing that is actually to use menu option number 8. So select number 8, enter, and before we actually go into the selection screen, what I want to show you is the default settings for this option. So if we just press F18 here for defaults, you'll see it, it comes up with a default screen. Now, uh, what Target 400 does, it will generate an ongoing field reference file for you as it generates the DDS for the, for the, for the files. So here it just basically asks you for the name of the field reference file. I'll leave that specified as dollar field ref then the name of the source file where you want to put it so I'll leave that as QDDS SRC and I'll leave uh, the library prompt as star DDS live that basically just tells it to generate the DDS field reference file source member in the same file as as the generated DDS for the physical files so once I've set that if you just jump down to the prompt for DDS generation options and you'll see there that it asks for field reference file processing. You can specify yes or no. What I normally do here is specify yes because what that will do is when it generates the DDS it will actually maintain the attributes for the fields in the field reference file and reference back to the field reference file as opposed to qualifying them on the fields in the physical files. So that's typically the best option to use and, 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 and how you would want to do it. So set that to yes, press enter, go back to the initial screen. As you can see, it's asking for the input FNI spec source file. That would be the one output of the create S36 FFD command, which we've just run through. So I'll leave that as Q RPG FI source in library John that's where we put these output specs and I'm just going to say create the files in library John and put the DDS for the for the files in QDDS SRC in library John so if we just now press enter on that it comes up with uh, a list of, of files we can now select to generate DDS for now if you just just select option one next to one of these, it will actually just submit it and create the DDS from what it's extracted from the applications. Now, what I normally prefer to do is before I let it go ahead and do that, I select option two, which gives me a chance to, to view the, the, the file layout, rename fields, add meaningful text to the fields and so forth. So I'll take you through that option uh, by selecting one of these files and if I select option two next to it, press enter. If you do a function key for F4 on this screen, you can actually pull up the FNI source member specs it's based on. And as you can see, there they are. This has gone through all the RPG programs, pulled in all descriptions, even gone into the data structure redefinitions for you. Uh, and what you'll notice here is there's, uh, there's a lot of subfields uh, which start from line 4 and go through to line 19. I'm going to delete those because I would prefer the DDS to be created against the LE lead field which is a lead number and is in positions 1 through 8. So I'm just going to delete that, F3 on that. And you'll see it'll acknowledge that change when you get back to the verification screen. So it's actually verified the fields against anything that's gone into the field reference file previously. It's telling us there's no errors 
and the file, file layout uh, is, is okay as is so I'm going to do an F3 to exit and now I will take option 1 to actually generate the DDS and once, that, once that's finished we'll go in and have a look at the output DDS and what it will do as well is, is create the physical file so we'll have a look at that as well of course I've worked through all the file layouts in the same fashion and there we go that job's concluded so we should we should have DDS and a, a, a converted object and the job has completed normally so if we do a work spool file there's the build file listing and as you can see it's created a physical file in, in library John and as I mentioned it's, it's, it's referencing the field reference file to pull in the field attributes and there we go the file has it been created successfully. If we now just jump into the output DDS source file, which was QDDS SRC in Library John, oops, you'll see what we've got is the physical file DDS for the, the file we've just selected, so that's SM lead. We have a quick look at that. There's the DDS source member and if we go and have a look at the field reference file it's going to accumulate as you go through this process we can do that and as you can see it's added it's added all those fields to an ongoing field reference file specified the attributes and this will this will grow as you convert your files uh, th th through the through the DDS generator. So that's it. So that's basically uh, all that is entailed in creating D DDS comprehensive DDS from your RPG two or RPG four application, and it's a pretty straightforward, simple process.